This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. Reports can be enhanced by adding calculations because you know report information comes from either a table or a query. But if you haven't created the calculation in any other location, but you need it on the printed document, you can actually calculate on reports. So let's go take a look at how this can happen. In my Access database, I'm simply going to open up this report called Product Sales by Category. It's a small little report, but what it does for me is it tells me the order date, the product name, the category of the sale, and then how much this sale actually totaled. Well, what I want to do is I want to add here at the bottom, what if we had a 15% increase? Because our goal here is to have a 15% increase. That's the goal. So let's go into Design View. And let me collapse the navigation pane and I don't need my properties. Let me clean things up just a little bit. And now I need to make my form, excuse me, my report just a tad bit larger so I have somewhere to place my new field. So now, I've, now I have my working environment set up the way I want it and I'm going to add a field here at the bottom. What's really important about this is the kind of field that you enter. So what we want to do is open up our toolbar. Let me just double click here to open up the tools. And on the ribbon, we want on the form design tools, click on the design tab to activate your ribbon. And here inside of the controls, what you want is you want to make sure that you're choosing a text box because you calculate on forms and reports with a text box. And by the way, what I'm doing on this report, it works the same way on forms. So you could show calculations on forms as well. So you click on the text box, then let me scroll down. So I get down to my report down here where I want to be. And I can just click and pop in, or I could click and drag, but I tend to just click and then come back and work with it later size-wise and fix that all up. You notice it says unbound. And the reason it says unbound is because this field that I just added is not bound back to a table or a query which simply means that anything that shows in this field is only going to show on the report. It is not going to be stored in a table or via a query. It's just not going to be found in our table. Well, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. So let me start off by just changing the label. I want to later format and make it look pretty, but for right now, we'll just change the label. And we wanted to say 15% increase. Okay, so there's our new label. And now we want to create our calculation. Let me resize this to make sure that it fits. And again, we'll worry later about the formatting to making sure everything matches. So inside of my unbound field, if, when you click on top of the word unbound, it disappears because it knows that the only reason that you have that field here is so that you can do something with it. The control, though, is only going to display the data on the report. Or like I said, this happens on forms, too. So if you're doing the same thing on a form, it would show the data on the form. So now we have to make a calculation. Calculations always start with the equal sign. And we're just doing a very simple math formula. We don't need any function in here. But if you did need a function, you just follow the format and follow the rules of inserting a function. But all we want to do is we want to take the amount field Right, we want to take the amount field times 15%. That's all we want to do. So we'll take amount field, and the way you write the name of an object is you can close it in square brackets. So amount, square brackets, now that's going to grab whatever the amount is in the amount field and multiply it, that's the asterisk, multiply it times what? Times 0.15. So now I can multiply it times 0.15 because that's what I want to see. Now I'm not going to worry so much about the formatting right now. What I want to do is see what happens when I go back to report view. So I'll choose report view and it says, well, that would be $210 for this record. Now let me collapse so I can get down to my tools. And for the next one, $15.75, $79.50 and so on and so forth. It's going to allow us to see that 15% increase. The calculation is done for us. Let's jump back over into design view. I don't like the format though on the amount or the 15% increase. So let's pop out our properties. I'm just going to double click on the 
on the um, form there, excuse me, the report to get the properties open. And what I want on the format, I want the format to be currency. I want the amount to be currency too. Somebody didn't format that one earlier. And then you would want to quickly come into the design tab. Oh, excuse me, the, oh, I got to find them. Um, oh, here, excuse me, I was on the wrong, I was on the report design tools, form design tools. Maybe that's what I'm looking for because what I want here are these alignment tools. That's what I was searching for. And I want to size and space, I want to fit it to the tallest and I want to fit it to the widest. And then I want to align to the left and on this one with the amount label, same thing. Let me collect, bring this out so I can get to them. Oops, there we go. I want to space that to fit the tallest and space to fit the widest. And I want to align it to the left. Now, I do want, I absolutely do want that space in there and maybe even just a little more space. So I might just drag this down just a little bit. But now I think I'm really happy because now when I look at my report, I can see all the information I want and set aside just a little bit. My 15% increase has been labeled and it's calculated. I also like the look a lot better now with the dollars in there. It's a little more consistent from one record to the next record. But you can see how quick and easy it is to create a calculation. Let me just remind you the most important element here. Whoops, I'm sorry, I accidentally hit print preview instead of design view. There we go. The most important element is to, when you're creating the calculation, the name of the control or the name of the field has to be enclosed in square brackets because enclosing it in square brackets is what tells access that it needs to go get the data from one of those fields. And if you make a typo, look what happens if you make a typo. It says, I have no idea what you're trying to get me to do. I don't know what this thing is. And so then if you see that error message, you just go back to design view and you say, oh shoot, I spelled them out wrong. Let me just fix that. And I'll put an N in there. And now with the N in there, and I go to print preview or design view, or excuse me, or report view. Oh, and this one is set up to be a continuous form. So I'm seeing all of my forms here because it's established to be continuous. But you can absolutely see there's the 15% increase and all the formatting is there. Everything looks exactly like I want it to look. So now you can take those skills with you, utilize them on forms and reports. They work on both. But now you can create calculations on your forms and reports. Remember, objects belong in square brackets. Let's take a moment for a pop quiz question. When adding calculated fields to reports, which type of control must be used? A, a calculator, B, a text box, C, a form control button for links, D, none of the above. B is the proper answer here. Even though it sounds like it's not the right answer, a text box is exactly how you create calculated fields on reports. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.